The biggest scam on YouTube is back. Established titles and chemical knives are once again sponsoring large YouTube creators to promote their products. And the biggest question is why? Why are these large YouTube creators still promoting established titles and chemical knives when they've already been exposed as scams? Like I know why established titles and chemical knives are still trying to promote themselves on YouTube. That part makes sense. They just want to make money. The part that doesn't make sense is why these large YouTube creators, after all the controversy surrounding established titles and chemical knives, why would they jeopardize their brand by promoting these scam companies? It doesn't make any sense. Now, the most obvious answer here is the money. But here's the problem with that answer. Saying that these YouTubers are still promoting established titles and chemical knives for the money misses the point that these YouTubers aren't struggling financially. As a matter of fact, these large YouTubers are financially well off. They have the luxury of being more selective with the companies they decide to promote. If this was a small YouTube channel, I could understand why they would jump at the opportunity to get sponsored by established titles and chemical knives, even after both companies got exposed. That would make more sense to me. Of course, I would obviously question their ethics and values. I will also question whether they actually care about their subscribers who they are promoting these scam products to. And this is the most important point in all of this, the subscribers. Just about everyone and their mothers knows about established titles and chemical knives. So any large YouTuber still promoting these products will get called out by their audience. Before established titles and chemical knives were exposed, YouTube creators could get away with saying that they didn't know the company was a scam. And a lot of them use that excuse to hide the fact that they don't do any research or due diligence on the companies they were promoting to their audience. But now, everyone knows that these companies are a scam. So what's the excuse this time? There is none. For some YouTube creators, money is more important than their brand. If you give them a big enough check, they will promote anything. But here's the part that really gets under my skin. Some of the YouTube creators who promoted established titles and chemical knives before both companies got exposed are the same YouTubers currently promoting them. Fortunately, most of the large YouTube creators that promoted established titles and chemical knives in the past are staying away from promoting them again. But not everyone got the memo. You would think that every large YouTube creator would know by now that promoting these scam companies is bad for their brand. But apparently not. It seems like some of these YouTube creators missed the memo, while other YouTube creators read the memo and then threw the memo in the trash after the check cleared. While money is probably the most obvious motivator of why these YouTube creators are still promoting established titles and comic knives, I want to introduce a different theory. I believe these YouTube creators are still promoting established titles and comic knives because their subscribers don't care. Or to be more precise, they have subscribers that will support them through anything and will forgive them even if they're promoting scam companies. We've seen this time and time again. An influencer or content creator will promote a scam company or a scam crypto project and nothing will happen to them. Sure, there will be some backlash for a week or two, but then after that, their subscribers will either forgive or forget that they were scammed or taken advantage of. And this brings me to the most frustrating part about covering YouTube creators and influencers in general. A lot of them don't seem to care about reputational damage. Here's what I mean by that. It's very obvious that most YouTube creators don't do any research or due diligence on the products they promote to their subscribers. That part's obvious. Here's what's not so obvious. Every time a YouTube creator promotes a scam company to their subscribers, one, they lose credibility, and two, they make people lose trust in YouTubers. We saw that with the FTX situation. Popular finance YouTubers who made boatloads of money promoting FTX to their audience ended up facing backlash from their subscribers, which ultimately led to their reputation being damaged. Which brings me to my overall point. There is a lack of trust in YouTube creators. But more importantly, there is a lack of effort on the part of large content creators to restore the trust that was lost. And I'm saying all this because I'm actually trying to help these YouTube creators out if they would just listen. The last thing you want as a YouTube creator is for your subscribers to not trust you. You don't want to be in a situation where you promote something to your audience 
and they're thinking, I'm not going to click on this link and buy this product because I know this YouTuber doesn't do any research before they promote something. You don't want that. You want to build a high degree of trust with your audience. So when you actually promote something, they'll say, I know this YouTuber does their research before they promote a product to me. So I know I'm in good hands. That's what every large YouTube creator should strive to do. And you do that by putting your subscribers first and money second. If you put money first and subscribers second, like most of these YouTube creators do, that's how you get established titles. Stay safe out there. Lord Watson. It just sounds right.